Welcome back to Algebra. Today we are talking about solving equations. We are on day three in Math Excel. Hopefully, we're going great and everything is much better. Okay, solving equations. Should be good at this. So, but let's review. So, solving one step equation, it says one solution. So, we always want to do the inverse operations to undo. So it's always think about like the opposite. So like opposite of addition is subtraction. So to undo addition, you subtract. Subtraction, you add. Okay. Then multiplication and division. To opposite or to undo multiplication, you divide. To undo division, you multiply. Okay. So let's talk about this one. What is the solution of x plus 4 is equal to negative 12? Okay, you can always think of this equal sign like a fence, and we're solving for x. That's variable. So we need to undo this addition of 4 by subtracting 4 to both sides. Cancel, cancel. All we have left on the left is our x. Negative 12 minus 4 would be a negative 16. Okay, one way to always recheck it is plug in negative 16 in for x. Negative 16 plus 4 equals negative 12. Well, negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12. Yes, negative 12 equals 12, so we are good to go. Okay, solving a literal equation. So it will tell you literally what variable to solve for. You're probably not going to end up with a pretty number answer. Okay, with little, literal equations, you just solve and you may not be able to combine your like terms, okay? So we have the equation K is equal to C plus 273. This relates to the temperatures of Kelvin's K and degrees Celsius C. What is C in terms of K? So we are looking for the variable C. Okay, so we have K is equal to C plus 273. We're asking what is C in terms of the K? So we're gonna solve for that variable C. By doing that, we still need to undo this addition. So we subtract 273 from both sides. Well, K minus 273, we cannot combine those. Those are not like terms. So we'll just say K minus 273 is equal to C, or just C is equal to K minus 273. Okay, and that's all you have to do. Those are the same thing. Okay, so whenever you're solving literal equations, you're not going to have a pretty answer, but this is your answer, okay? Need to erase my drawings. Okay, next page, solving multi-step equations. Still want to get y, or in this case, it's y. Get whatever variable by itself. So, what you need to do is always simplify each side and then move variables to one side, numbers to the other. So, but... In this case, we draw our fence. If we look on the left, negative 27 plus 6y, we can't do anything there. But this 3 multiplied by y minus 3, we can distribute that. And we need to before we combine. So distribute our 3 to make 3y minus 9. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So negative 27 plus 6y equals that. Okay? So now each side is as simplified as possible. So now move numbers variables to one side, numbers to the other. So there's four different ways that you can start this. I like to move my variables to the left. So I'm going to undo this by subtracting 3y. Okay, I have to subtract it from the 6y because these are like terms. So bring down negative 27, 6y minus 3y, the positive 3y equals negative 9. That negative, make sure you bring down that negative 9. Okay, now we can add 27 to both sides, undo that subtraction. Cancel, cancel, bring down our 3y is equal to negative 9 plus 27 is 18. Okay, last, undo this multiplication by dividing by 3, so we get y is equal to 6. Okay, if you wanted to plug that in to check your answer, you totally could. Okay. So now let's talk about equations with no solution and identities. So, is the equation always, sometimes, or never true? With equations, it's either going to always be true or never be true. 
So in this case, we have 11 plus 3x minus 7 is equal to 6x plus 5 minus 3x. Okay, ignore this. We're going to explain why that is true. So on the left, we can combine the 11 minus 7 to get the 4. So 4 plus, bring down the 3x. Here, we combine our 6x minus 3x, get 3x plus 5. Okay, if we move our 3x to the other side, this cancels and this cancels, but that also cancels. So that's why we have just 4 equals 5. 4 does not equal 5, so it's a never true. Okay, let's look at this one. We have 6x minus, we're going to simplify, 6x minus 2x is 4x plus 5. Here we have 4 plus 1 to be 5 plus 4x. Okay, you can kind of pause here and look. Both are 5, both 4x, but essentially if we subtract 4x, everything is going to cancel. Cancel, 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 cancel. 5 equals 5. Yes, that is true. So this is always true. Cool? Cool. Okay, there's not going to be an, an instance where it's sometimes true. It's either going to be always or it's going to be a never. Hang on one second or come in. Okay, that's it for this lesson. So, Math Excel 1.4, we have eight questions. We have a surprise guest visitor of Mr. Thomas. What is good, everybody? This is 1.4. You will enjoy this lesson, I promise. Excellent job, Ms. Thank Collette. you. Goodbye. Okay,